Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's WK Dad. I want to make this like a little two-part series on dealing with the current meta, some cards that I've been toying around with uh, to try to combat things. Uh, first off, Vanny's Infinite. And this group of cards here, I just want to call like lockdown cards. So, you know, the first part, we have our lockdown cards. Uh, Vanity's Infinite, you know, you guys have been seeing the hype on this. Uh, the reason for the hype, at least in the hype and the price, is because this fucker is from Star Strike Blast. You know, the set that hasn't been reprinted yet. You know, Car Curry Beret, Materia Cherries, etc., etc., etc. So that's why this thing is upwards six, seven, eight dollars. Um, the card, you know, was always decent, but there were so many ways to play around it. Plus, MST was a thing. Now with so many decks dropping MST, this card is godly. And if you didn't understand why this card is all of a sudden good now, that's the reason. There are very few decks who main deck MST. The big three decks, we're talking um, Dragon Rulers, Prophecy, and more often than not, Evil Swarms, and Mermails even. So the big three decks and the tier 1.5 deck mermails don't main MST for the most part and that's why Vandy's emptiness is great so if you didn't know now you know plus one for the biggie reference <laughs> and now we have the monster, monster stun squad you guys know why this crimson blader is good uh, this card defined a whole format before we even fucking got it. Back when we were just rap raping shit with Plant Synchro, OCG had this already. And it was like the anti-Plant Synchro card. And OCG always gives us cards, you know, all extra late. Could you imagine if this was around back when Trishla was around? Like the OCG had it. You know, a lot less Trishla abuse. Uh, I don't think Plant Synchro would have been it quite as big as it was. Or at least the mirrors would have been a lot more complicated with Crimson Blader floating around. This is also godly in a Frog Monarch matchup. Uh, this card laughs at all the light and dark monsters. They can't make Ophion. Uh, they can't summon Gores of Trag. I don't know who still runs those cards. They can't summon High Priestess. Uh, they can't get Kaiku or Jalgen off of uh, Judgment Day or Tower. So that's good Yu Gi Oh's. Um, Kaiku, I like him because you can summon him and feel free to poke at your opponent's um, defense position, Kaiku, when you know they try to fate lock you. you clear the clear the, clear the Jalgen in the main phase to do stuff, nuke their field, mess up their setup. And then force them to have the broken hand of the Judgment Day, set it all up and do it, <laughs> and screw you over again. But yeah, really good at clearing, at clearing Jalgen so to turn Fate off. <clears throat> and last monster, Side Blocker. I like Side Blocker. Uh, I always thought this was a really cool card. Unlike Prohibition, uh, this card is really unique. It basically turns the card blank, whether it's on the field or has been activated or not. So let's say you have a Black Cluster Soldier in hand, and you summon this, your opponent doesn't have a response, and they control Evil Swarm Ophion. Well, you declare Evil Swarm Ophion, and now suddenly Evil Swarm Ophion is a 2550 Vanilla. That's how he works. He just makes cards blank. I don't know how else better to say it. He doesn't so much stop activations to where he just basically he says these things can't be played. Their effects are no longer applied. And it's freaking awesome. I just really sucks that he only has 1200 attack. And then finally, rivalry. I can't stand evil swarms. I hate decks that summon big monsters, set fives, they go. Uh, this prevents them from doing that. They can't go on Ophion, just like just like versus Dino Rabbit, versus <clears throat> um, wind ups. 
And then goes a match really good against Dragon Rulers. I hate when this card is flipped. I'll pitch a baby dragon, summon one, pitch another, and they flip this. I just want to rage quit. I'm like, no! <laughs> Alright, so that's the first part. Uh, the next time we talk, um, we'll get into effect negation and tempo swings. And we'll talk about a little anti your opponent stuff. Uh, if I may, I got a. I don't know if I can focus in on this. Quick little trade binder. I'm getting rid of my spellbook shit. I've already got I've already got an offer on my spellbook stuff, but I don't necessarily like the offer. So you know, if you can see what it got, I don't have any real specific wants. So just offer me good good Yu Gi Ohs. I only have one priestess left. I've already sold two. Got a Curseon and a Caster. Two Ulti Sukis. Omega, Thanatos. Two Ulti Vanities Fiends. Two Chaos Hunter. Two Rare Veilers. Common Sarko. Duradark. A Chidori. Dire Wolf. Degusto Phoenix. Um, a German Spellbook of Wisdom. Some Tomb Tables. One Gold. Rest Common. Uh, Ptolemy's M7. And the first edition, Super Rejuvenation. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I'm not going to bust out the other binders. This is just some stuff I want to get rid of real quick. Alright guys, this is Dub K Dad, and I'm out.